have let's have example 3 5.3 from your handouts for the continuous beam and load show compute the nodal displacements and member forces so we have here the beam this is indeterminate to the where there are three degrees of freedom so we can use our calculator here the moment of inertia AB is 150 times 10 to the 6, BC 200 times 10 to the 6, and CD 250 times 10 to the 4th, MM to the 4th. So, we select BC as our uh, moment of inertia, reference moment of inertia, so that IEB in terms of IBC would be 150 over 200.75 of I. ICD would be 250 divided by 200, so 1.25 over 5. So for the forces, we have the effect of the loadings, moments, then fixed reactions, moments, reactions, moments, reactions. So for the fixed and force or fixed and moment in AB, we have this strip here. The distance from the left is X. The value is 80 dx so fix and moment on the second part we have this strip here if we denote x distance from the zero end to the location of the strip as x then 30 divided by 3 is 10 so that height is 10x so fix and moment a b equals integral from 0 to 3 of 18 dx times x times 4 minus x square over 4 square from P, A, B square over L square. So, 7 to 9 over 32. Fix and moment B, A is you... Uh, by the way, I, A, B is already mentioned. 0.75 of I, B, C. And our I, B, C is our I. And I, C, D is 250 over 200, 1.25 over I. Fix and moment B, A, we use the same integral. We interchange the squared. So, X square and 4 minus X over 4 square, you will get... Fix and moment BA 567 over 32. Then fix and moment BC is is a summation moment at C equals at B equals 0 to solve for FA. FA times 4 plus fix and moment BA which is 567 over 32 equals fix and moment AB which is 729 over 32 plus moment of the load 18 times 3. The distance is 2.5. So FA is 2241 over 64 kilonewtons. Then for summation forces y to solve for FD left, FD left plus 2241 over 64 equals 18 times 3. So FD left is 1215 over 64 kilonewtons. Then for BCs, fix and moment BC is integral of quantity 10x dx times quantity 2 plus x times 3 minus x, the distance of the strip from the right is 3 minus x, quantity square, divided by L square, 5 square, 0 to 3. So, fix and moment BC is equal to 864 kilonewton meter. Fix and moment CB, we use the same integral, 2 plus x is squared this time, 3 minus, 3 minus x is not. So, you'll get fix and moment CB equals 22.86 kilonewton meter. Then summation moment about C equals 0, FDR times 5 plus fix and moment CB, which is 22.86, is equal to fix and moment BC, 8.64 plus moment of the load, 1 half of 3 times 30 times 1. So FDR is equal to 6.156 kilonewtons. Then Summation forces y equals 0, FCL plus 6.156 equals 1 half of 3 times 30. So FCL is equal to 38.844. Then fix and moment CD equals 40 times 2 times 4 square over 6 square plus 50 times 4 times 2 square over 6 square. So fix and moment CD is 520 over 9 kilonewtons. Fix and moment DC is 40 times 2 square times 4 over 6 square plus 50 times 4 square times 2 over 6 square. So fix and moment DC equals 560 over 9 kilonewton meter. 
Then, summation moment C equals 0 to solve for FCR. FCR times 6 plus MD, MDC 560 over 9 equals fixed moment CD, which is 520 over 9 plus 40 times 4 plus 50 times 2. So, FCR equals 1150 over 27 kilonewton. Summation forces Y equals 0. FD plus 1150 over 27 equals 40 plus 50. So, F sub D is 1280 over 27 kilonewtons. Next, for the stiffness of AB, we have 12. EI is 0.75. So, 12 times 0.75 over 4 cube. We will get 9 over 64. The second entry is 6 times 0.75 over 4 square. So, 9 over 32. This is the negative of 9 over 64. This is the same, 9 over 32. Same, 9 over 32. 4 times 0.75. 75 divided by 4 is 0.75 or 3 fourths. This is the negative of the first 9 over 32. And this is 1 half of 3 fourths or 3 eighths. Then the next row is the negative of the first row. And the last row is second row with entries in the second and fourth columns interchange. KBC is equal to... For the first entry, 12 divided by 5 cubed, so 12 over 125. 6 times 1 divided by 5 square, 6 over 25. The negative of 12 over 125. Then copy 6 over 25, copy 6 over 25 here. 4 times 1 over 5, so 4 over 5. Then the negative of 6 over 25. Then 1 half of 4 over 5 is 2 fifths. Then the negatives of this first row here. Then second row with second column and fourth column entries interchange. Then K well C D is the first entry is 12 times 1.25 divided by 6 cubed is 5 over 72. So 5678, 5678, that's the C D. Then this is 6 times 1.25 EI divided by 6 square, so 5 over 24, the negative of 5 over 72, then copy 5 over 24, copy 5 over 24. 4 times 1.25 divided by 6 is 5 over 6, and negative of 5 over 24, 1 half of 5 over 6 is 5 over 12. The negative of this row here, then second row copy with second column and fourth column interchange. Then for the nodal forces, at 2, Theta U4 or theta, theta B. So this is fixed and moment BA. Fixed and moment BA is 567 over 32 minus fixed and moment BC, which is 8.64. And the result I think is positive. So if positive, it's counterclockwise. So that's 7,263 over 200. At node 3, which is fixed and moment CD, CD to 22.86 minus fixed and moment CD, which is CD 520 over 9. The result is negative and it should be clockwise. So 15713 over 450. At node 4, this is the only load here which is clockwise this is a fixed end force so therefore the nodal force is opposite so it is counterclockwise and because dc fixed end moment this is 560 over 9 so at node 4 we have 560 over 9 counterclockwise so let's copy this to set up the the important matrix for u4 u6 and u8 which corresponds to theta B, theta C, and theta B. So this is it. Then, global forces, 7263 over 800, positive, clockwise, so this is negative, then 560 over 9, positive. So we have 468, U4, U6, U8, important unknown displacements. So 44, 3 fourths plus 4 over 5, 3 fourths plus 4 over 5, 3 fourths plus 4 over 5 is equal to 31 over 20. So this is row 4, column 6. Row 4, column 6. 4, column 6. We have 
two fifths only. So two fifths. So six four is also two fifths. Four eight is there's none, so zero. So eight four is also zero. Then this is six six. Six six is four over five plus five over six, forty nine over thirty. Then this is six eight. 6, 8, 5 over 12, 5 over 12, 8, 6, 5 over 12, also 8, 8 is 5 over 6, 5 over 6. So solving for u, for u, 6, u, 8, it is the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix times this force matrix. So after multiplication, using your calculator, we get 19.206. Oh, Two three five over EI negative fifty one point seven two seven two eight six over EI and one hundred point five three zero three one zero over EI. Since our EI is for BC is two hundred times ten to the six times two hundred gigapascals that will give us two hundred that will give us forty thousand kilonewton meter square if you convert that to kilonewton meter square. So all these displacements must be must be divided by 40,000 because these are rotations. So after we divide everything by 40,000, we'll get the values in radians, which are 4.80156 times 10 to the negative 4 radians for U6, then this is for U8. So that these values correspond to theta B, theta C, theta D. Now for the member forces, for member AB, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, then only U4 has a value for displacement. So that's why we shade the first three columns. So that's for AB. We just cut and paste. That's why I use this table form so that I can easily copy the values not to input one by one. So only Column 4 is active, so to get these values, 9 over 32 times 19.206235 plus fixed and force. Remember, this is FA. This is fixed and moment AB. Then this is FB left. Then this is moment BA, which is clockwise, so that's why it's negative 567 over 32. So 9 over 32 times 19.206235. In the one that is in terms of EI because these are all in terms of EI. So plus 2241 over 64, you get 40.417. 3 times 19.206235 plus 729 over 32, 29.984. Negative 9 over 32 times 19.206235 plus 1215 over 64, 13.583 kilonewtons. 3 fourths times 19.206235. Plus negative 567 over 32, negative 3.314. So these member forces are supposedly P1, P2, P3, P4. But because I anticipate that you will hardly interpret it in reality. So I change the symbols here with the actual symbols. So share AB or RA, moment AB, share B just to the left, then moment BA. So that's it. For member forces of BC, so we have supposedly P3, P4, P5, P6, but I changed it to the actual designations. Shear just to the right of B, moment BC, shear just to the left of C, moment CD. So this is the stiffness, copy BC. Then we only have U4 and U6 here. This is U4 over EI supposedly. And this is U6, the rest 0, so corresponding to row 3 and 4, so columns 3 and 4 are, uh, columns 3 and 5 are shaded, only 4 and 6 are active. So to solve these uh, values, you perform multiplication, matrix multiplication with this, so 6 over 25 times 19.206235 plus 6 over 25 times negative 51.727286 plus 6 Fix and force, by the way, these are the fixed and forces. This is F, B, R. This is fix and moment B, C. This is uh, F, C, left. Then this is fix and moment C, B. So take note, it's in the pre preceding slides. Then 
we already performed multiplications on this same matrix, then it's up to you to uh, verify these values. Then for fix and for five member forces for CD, we have 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have U6 and U8 only have values here. Then again, columns 5 and 7 are shaded. Only 6 and 8 are active. These are the fixed and forces recalled from the preceding slides. Uh, FCR, this is MC, fixed and moment CD. Then this is FD, then this is moment DC. Fixed and moment DC, which is clockwise, so negative. So just a sample calculation, 5 over 24 times negative 51.727286 plus 5 over 24 times 100.530. 31 plus 1150 over 27, you get 52.76 and so on and so forth. So solving for MA, MA is the negative of MAB, which is 29.984. Again, this is clockwise. Interpretation is clockwise, but at the left end, it should be, this is counterclockwise rather, positive. But we, in, uh, we expect that Positive moment is clockwise at the left end, so that's why it's negative 29.984. Then moment at B is equal to negative 3.314 because this is again counterclockwise, 3.314 at B. And B is left of C, so therefore the positive moment is supposed to be clockwise, but because this is counterclockwise, so it's negative again. Then M sub C is negative 56.559 so you know already the explanations then rb is the sum of shear just to the left 13.583 plus shear just to the right negative 1.649 you, you will get rb equals 11.94 kilonewtons r sub c is shear just to the left 46.649 plus shear just to the right 52.76 and R sub C is equal to 9.29.49. Of course, R sub D, which is the last end, is 37.24. And the moment of D is 0 because that's our ruler end.